Hello, uh, my name is Bikram Fukan. I'm a member of the faculty in the physics department of St. Stephen's College. I've been here since 1996 as a teacher and since 1982 as a student. In fact, I came to Delhi in 1980 from uh, Assam, Shillong actually, where I did my schooling, and was in DPS Mathura Road for a couple of years. Then I joined St. Stephen's to do physics. I uh, did my bachelor's degree in physics. I was in residence in uh, Allnut North uh, during my undergraduate years and in Rudra North during my um, MSc years. So I did three years of BSc, two years of MSc in Delhi University. And then I went to the US, uh, the University of Maryland at College Park to do a PhD in astronomy. I was there for six years. And on my return in 1993, I worked for about three years at the National Center for Radio Astrophysics in Pune. In 1996, I joined uh, the faculty of St. Stephen's. And, and it was a very interesting experience for me because on the one hand, it was like coming back home, but on the other hand, it was uh, in a new avatar and that all my colleagues were my former teachers. Uh, in the last 20 years, uh, Things have changed considerably, obviously. Uh, I am now the second senior most member of the faculty, um, and all the old faculty members are gone. Uh, St. Stephen's has also changed quite dramatically in the last uh, 37 years. Um, it was uh, dominated by uh, st students from different parts of the country when I was here, and also from different social classes, in that a uh, far larger fraction of the students were from uh, Doon School, Mayo College, places like that. In general, I think, for example, there are many more festivals today, is Onam, and lunches and events these days. But uh, the involvement of the college as a whole in each of these events uh, is less than it used to be in the old days. For example, during the Mukherjee Memorial debate in the old days, uh, the entire college would turn up for the event. Now it's a kind of society-specific event. In the old days, there used to be something called the Practical Joke Week, which I guess we don't have anymore. Uh, it was held under the auspices of the P.G. Woodhouse Society, and the idea was that during that week, students were allowed to pay jokes on faculty members in the college. The jokes had to be approved by one particular faculty member, Dr. Divedi, Mr. Devedi, who was, uh, had a great sense of humor. And there was this one particular joke, which, was, uh, which happened during, before my time as a student. So there was a bachelor in the physics department by the name of Dr. Bhargav and students issued invitations for his wedding <laughs> with someone who used to teach in a different college and who was herself unmarried. So <laughs> everybody got a big laugh out of that. <laughs> so that kind of thing. I don't think uh, that kind of thing happens anymore. I think, you know, life was much more relaxed in the old days. Everybody seems to be you know, all the time very, very busy doing all kinds of things. And I didn't see that in the old days. In, in these days when I walk out in the afternoon, I see you know, half a dozen societies practicing various events. That never used to happen when I was a student. The number of societies was much, much smaller. There were fewer events. But uh, like I said, in, in the events were of a more global nature. And that I still remember very clearly the Mukherjee Memorial debates taking place in the college hall, the finals. And it was jam-packed. Okay. And then when the basketball finals or something took place, you know, the whole area would be full of everyone. It didn't matter whether you were interested in basketball or not. So there were fewer events, but there was greater involvement, I think. Also, the, I mean, like I said, many things, in many respects, I think this has become, it was a much more elite institution in the old days than it is now. And that I think now people from many, a much larger section of society come uh, to St. Stephen's College uh, than in the old days, which is a very good thing, I think. And uh, the number of women has increased dramatically. And when I was a student, only one third of the students were women, and now almost two thirds are women. I so I would like to give one uh, simple piece of advice, which is don't spend all your time building your CV. Uh, start building your brain as well. Don't just keep thinking about your CV and all the things that you show others because ultimately what matters is whether you have the ability to think on your own.